Okay, welcome Cortland Rose from Fort Hayes. We are so excited to have you. Uh, we are recording this session and for other students and teachers to see in the future and or later today. And so as they come in, I'll let them in. Chats are private, but if they have questions, we'll go ahead and read them here and then we'll address those at the end or during the presentation. So take it away, Ms. Cortland. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you guys um, so much for having me. I definitely do appreciate it. Um, I'm just gonna give you some general information. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, definitely let us know um, so we can get those answered. Um, so we are Fort Hayes State University. A lot of people wonder where we're located. We're about four hours east of Denver on I-70. So very, very hard to miss. Um, you'll run right into us. Uh, marked there on the map, that's actually our mascot, which is Victor E, the tiger. So um, he's marking where our where we are located at on that map. A little bit about our demographics. So we have about 16,000 students in our total enrollment. Only about 5,000 of those are on campus. Um, we have about 7,000 in our FHSU online, which is our virtual college, and about 4,500 in our two international partnerships that we have with China. So we have a lot going on on campus and off campus. Um, very um, bustling community, just um, a lot going on and a lot for our students to be involved with. Um, we're looking at about 20 to 25 students in your class sizes. Our biggest lecture hall on campus holds 141 students. Right now, the max capacity for that is 25. Um, when you get more into um, your major, you're looking at probably about eight to 10 students. So it's nice that you don't have to have a class of 500 or so, you don't have to feel like another number. Your professors can truly get to know you and you can build that relationship with them, which is nice for if maybe you need a recommendation later in the future um, for, or just maybe if you just need to call them up for just questions that you may have, they'll actually know who they're talking to, which is really nice. We have 31 academic departments on campus. We have over 200 plus majors and minors. Um, we have over, like I said, 200 plus majors and minors. Um, all these five colleges that you see on this list are what all of our majors and minors come out of. Um, so some of the more um, popular ones, social work, um, psychology, we have nursing, um, we have pre-physical therapy, um, just lots of cool different programs for our students. Um, we have a, an industrial arts program. So if you want to be a shop teacher, there are no programs of that nature in Colorado actually. And there's only two in Kansas, so we're one of the two that holds that program, which is really nice. Um, if you wanted a full list of our majors and minors, though, under our Tiger Victor E, that's where on our website you could go to get a full list of our majors and minors. What does it cost? That's the big question that everyone really wants to know. What's really nice is that we try to get our Colorado students really, really close to in-state tuition. Um, so what you're looking at there is $7,523.10. That's for your tuition and fees. And keep in mind, that's for the year. Um, this is built into 30 credit hours. So most universities will charge you by the credit hour. We do as well. So 30 credit hours is built into that amount. That's about 15 classes per semester. So we're estimating students take about five classes. You don't have to take 30. You actually only need 12 per semester to be considered a full-time student. So that's 24 for the year. So if you decided to just have the 24 for the year, that price is gonna be a little less for you. Um, the room and board is about $8,300. Um, this is for a room in McMindus with our open access meal plan. A little bit later in the slides, I'm going to show you our housing options and um, how it all works out there. But our room and board, like I said, it's about 8,300. Um, and of course that includes a meal plan as we talked about as well. Books and supplies, $606, that's for the year. Could be a little more, could be a little less, just depends on what materials that your professor is needing for your classes. So for the year, you're looking at about $16,500. And keep in mind, this is before any type of scholarship or anything of that nature has been added. We are the most affordable for your institution in the state of Kansas and almost in all of Colorado, um, which is really nice. You don't have to leave um, college and be in loads and loads of student debt. Um, so, Definitely something to keep in mind when you're looking at um, schools. We have a really nice automatic freshman scholarship program we do here. If you were to um, scan the little QR code up in the corner, it's gonna take you to our scholarship estimator that we have online. 
The scholarship is solely based off your ACT, SAT, and your GPA. So wherever your SAT and your GPA is, um, it has a chart there and it's going to tell you what money that you qualify for. All of these um, money amounts are automatic. They are split in between semesters though. Um, so if you got the 2000, you're gonna get 1000 per semester. What's nice about this scholarship is that it's renewable for all four years while you're here. All you have to do is maintain a 3.3 GPA. Um, we take these scores all the way up until June 30th of your graduating year. Um, what's also nice is that we'll take six, seventh, and eighth semester transcripts. So let's say at the end of junior year, you have a higher GPA than at the end of senior year, we will take whatever the higher GPA is. Um, we know our students may take college classes senior year that may mess with their GPA. So um, definitely something to keep in mind as well. So this is a great scholarship opportunity um, for our freshmen and lots of students definitely take advantage of it. And one last thing I want to add to this is that we also super score. So all the sections of the SAT that you take, we take them all, add them together, and divide by however many number of sections there are, and that's your new um, SAT or ACT score. So definitely keep that in mind as well. We know not everyone's a good test taker, so we're definitely um, so grateful to have the super scoring option for our students. We do have some more scholarship opportunities though. Um, the Access to Academic Opportunity Grant is a two dollars to $4,000 scholarship. It's renewable as well. Um, the basis of this scholarship, it is merit-based. Um, so how they do this is that there's no interviews associated with this um, scholarship. You fill out um, some questions. It's just three questions. And the more you put in the questions, the better your um, chance is of getting the scholarship. If you're wanting more information on this scholarship, um, you need to you can contact me directly because we do not post it on our website because it is a very specific um, scholarship. Some people like to call it a diversity scholarship. Like I said, they base it off of your, your answers that you write. So um, it's basically questions asking, um, are you involved in your community? How so? Um, how would this scholarship help you? Is there anything going on in your life specifically that you would need help for in paying for college? So there's different types of questions like that. This is their way of getting to know you. And the only way they get to do that is through these questions that you answer. Lastly, um, our general scholarship application. So what's nice about our general scholarship application is that it's just one form. You go to our website um, and fill it out. You do have to be admitted before you can fill out our general scholarship application. So you go to our website, it'll have you log in, um, put in a few demographics about yourself, of course, first name, last name, address. Then it's gonna also ask you what um, you're thinking that you want to study. So it's gonna pull in all of the scholarships um, as well from those departments that you have chosen if you chose um, more than one. So that's really nice. Lastly, all you have to do is click apply. All the scholarships that you wanna to apply to, no essay, nothing like that. It's gonna bring them all up in like a sidebar for you and you just click apply to all the scholarships that you want to apply for. So really, really nice opportunity there as well. The priority deadline for that though is November 15th and the final deadline for that is February 15th. I tell students to try to get on this um, as fast as possible because um, priority deadline November 15th, final deadline February 15th is like, so what if I get it in after the priority deadline? Well, they're going to look at the applications first, who got them in uh, before the priority deadline and give all that money out. And then whatever they have left, they will give out to the rest of the students. So scholarships are definitely very important. The less money you have to pay, the better. And we have lots of great opportunities for our students. Welcome home. So the housing options that we have here, um, the first two that you see at the top, McMindus and Victor E. Village, these are our two predominantly freshman dormitories on campus. Victor E. Village is um, only freshman. It's our only freshman residence hall on campus. It was recently built in 2017, so it is definitely fairly new. Um, and then if you didn't want to live in Victor E. Village, you would live in McMindus, which is a mixture of freshmen through seniors. You could have any grade level in there. What's really nice about Victor E. Village, though, is that it's full of learning communities and you could only live in this building if you are in a learning community. So learning community is based either off interest or major. You live with about 25 to 30 students on the same floor. You guys have at least two classes together, first and second semester. Um, so you already have like a built in study group, a built in friend group. Um, our learning communities get to move in on campus before anyone else does. Um, our learning communities also have specific perks like our nursing learning community. They get to take a senior level course their freshman year. So it's just nice that our learning communities, you know, you get a few little added perks to them, like I said, but it's just a great opportunity 
to meet friends and have a built-in study group. And these people usually um, stay friends for the duration of their college experience. Because if you do have the same interests or major, more than likely you're, you're all going to keep taking classes together, which is really nice. Um, a few more examples of our learning community. So I talked about the nursing one. We have one for business students. We have one for pharmacy, pre-physical therapy, pre-optometry interior design, drawing, art. We have one for art, it's called Artful Minds. We have one for first generation college students. We have an outdoor learning community. If you like like hiking and swimming and fishing and things like that, we have one for those as well. Those are just a few of the options that we have that I've mentioned. Um, so a much longer list, but if that's something that you're interested in, our housing application actually opens on November 10th. So I like to tell our students, um, if you're interested in a learning community, they always fill up the fastest and there is usually a waiting list. So I tell my students to hop on our housing application as soon as they can. And it actually opens on November 10th at 10 a.m. So if you didn't wanna live in a learning community, you could live in McMindus Hall. We do require all of our freshmen, unless you live within a 50 mile radius, you do have to live on campus for the first year. So you do have two different options. The only difference between Victory Village and uh, McMinus is just that one is a learning community. The rooms are exactly the same. What's nice about McMinus though is that that's where the cafeteria is. So our cafeteria is buffet style. And like I talked about our meal plans. So uh, along with your meal plan, you get what we call dining dollars. And we have an on-campus Starbucks, Pizza Hut, Wing Street, um, we have a burger place, um, a place like Chipotle and Quidoba, and like a subway place on campus. So lots of different options for our students to eat on campus. Along with your meal plans, you get dining dollars to be able to spend at the Starbucks, Pizza Hut, the sub place, wherever you would like. And there's also a pizza place located in Victor E. Village um, that's open late nights for our students. We know students stay up a long time studying, you know, and having to get things done. So it's nice to have a little um, snack to be able to help you study. Um, so lots of options for our freshmen. Um, having the cafeteria under you is great. You know, just get out of bed, have to go downstairs if you don't want to walk all the way across campus to go to the union. Um, so it's a nice opportunity that you have. Some of the other living places that you see here, if you do want to live on campus after freshman year, of course you could. Below Victor E. Village is Stadium Place. These are our on-campus apartments. They are two to four bedrooms. They come fully furnished with a washer and dryer, which is really nice. Um, and also all laundry on campus is actually free here campus wide. So none of our students pay for laundry at all, which is very nice. Doesn't sound like a big deal now, but trust me, once you get to college, that laundry does start to add up. So it's nice you don't have to worry about that extra expense. And what's even cooler about our laundry system here is that we have an app that you can get on your phone and it's gonna tell you when your laundry is done. So really cool, awesome opportunity there. Um, Right beside um, Stadium Place, you're going to see Tiger Place. This is um, what we actually call them Heather and Agnew Halls. They are three to four bedroom suite style. You get your own room, but you do share a kitchenette and a bathroom um, with your roommates. Hanson Hall that you see is a specific hall designated for our business and entrepreneurship ma majors or interests. There is only 33 beds available in there, a very competitive hall to be able to be a part of, but it's definitely great for our business and entrepreneurship students. They get like hands-on learning tools, cool collaborative rooms for them to be able to work in. So another great opportunity there as well. And they actually have scholarships for Hanson Hall as well. Lastly on the list is going to be Tiger Village, which is right beside Victor E. Village. Tiger Village is where two of our sororities and one of our fraternities is located. The rest of our um, fraternities and sororities are located off campus. And then we also have our transfer learning community in there. So we do have a transfer um, student learning community as well on campus, which is very great to help them get acclimated to campus and have friends that are, um, they're there for the same experience as them. It's new to them as well. So it's nice to be able to go to have some people to go through that experience with and not to do it alone. Sports, because who does not love sports? Um, so we have nine varsity men's and women's sports teams here. We are NCAA Division II. We are part of the MIAA conference, very competitive conference. We play schools in the surrounding areas. So Nebraska, Missouri, Oklahoma, um, What's cool about our sporting events is that all of our students get in free of charge to any and every 
sporting event that they would like to go to, all they have to do is have their student ID. What's also nice is that, of course, you know, schools have wellness centers for their athletes where they can work out, um, play basketball, maybe do um, have batting cages. But what's nice about Fort Hayes is that we have a wellness center um, for our students as well. So we have an Olympic swimming pool, basketball courts, racquetball courts, workout equipment. Um, and our students get to access that as well free of charge. All they need is their student ID. So it's nice that if you like to work out or just maybe you want to go pick up a game of basketball or racquetball and have fun, you do have those opportunities and you don't have to pay for it. Clubs and organizations. So we have over 120 plus clubs and organizations here on campus. It only takes five students and one faculty member to be able to start a club or organization on campus. What's nice about our um, clubs and organizations is that a lot of them um, compete competitively one, for example, here that you see is our esports program. So I like to tell students, you could um, tell your friends you came to college for video gaming and you got a scholarship for that. We do do video gaming here at the varsity level, um, very competitive program, and they do give out scholarships to our students that come here for our esports program. We have a full rodeo out here as well. I like to mention a lot of my students like to do like clay shooting or skeet shooting. We have those as well. and. Um, those teams also compete competitively, so you could come here on scholarship for those as well. So lots of cool different um, clubs and organizations here on campus. Um, one I also like to talk about is there's a hammocking club. So the clubs don't have to have any basis towards them. You just need five students and one faculty member, like I mentioned. So you want to start a, a cool, fun club and organization, you definitely have the option to be able to do that, which is really cool. Um, I also want to touch upon our intramurals here. So we have over 300 plus intramurals here on our campus. We're one of the biggest intramurals in the in the Midwest, which is really nice. So it's not your traditional intramurals that you're thinking of, like the basketball, volleyball, softball. We have cooking contests. They do belly flop contests, mud volleyball. Um, they do a mud flop contest. If you're into fishing, they do a trout derby. They do clay scoot shooting skeet shooting so what's nice about intramurals is that it just takes the competitiveness out of the sport and just makes it fun it's literally just for fun students are allowed to form their own teams and it's just a great time and they're also co-ed so you get to compete with um girls and guys it's just always a fun time to go out and watch them all just having fun like it like i said it all is for fun the prizes that they win are like a t-shirt or maybe like a small little cool plaque or like a medal so it's all focused on the fun part so if you do still want to come here and do sports you don't have to do them competitively you can do them for our intramurals so we have lots of visit opportunities here um you can come in person or do a virtual Virtual visit. If you come in person, what your day would look like is you would get here, um, you would uh, get to go on a campus tour of our whole campus, you would meet with an admissions counselor where they would talk to you just about tuition scholarships and just any other things that you may have questions on. Um, you'd also meet with an academic department of your choosing. You can meet with more than one. We've had students come who their day is full with just academic department visits because they just want to get a feel for um, what they are thinking and maybe going into that they want to study. And maybe they're not sure, so they want to meet with multiple departments. That is completely fine. Whatever your schedule allows for the day, um, we will make it happen for you. Um, if you don't think that you'd be able to make it out to campus, like I said, we're also doing virtual visits and your day would look um, a little different. We do have our virtual tour of our complete campus online as well as a virtual tour of all of our residence halls on campus. Um, so if you're wanting to know what those look like, we have those on our website as well. You would um, talk with an admissions counselor as well and you'd still get to talk with that academic department or department, whatever you um, had put down. So virtual visit is definitely another option for you guys if you don't think you'll be able to make it out. Um, I would say if you can, though, try to make it out to our campus, you know, um, pictures just don't do it justice. Um, I would say a lot of people that um, come to our campus um, and get the, the visit experience, um, they're just shocked um, whenever they happen to leave for the day um, because you're just not expecting what you see on our tour. We just have a lot of new innovative things that we're working on here on campus, getting lots of new buildings built that are completely geared towards our students and for our students. We are building a new student success center that's going to be open in uh, fall 2021. So it'll be just in time for um, you seniors to go ahead and come out and visit us. Um, it's really nice. Um, there's going to be a skywalk that connects our Memorial Union to the Student Success Center. So we're really excited for that building to be built here, here on campus. And that's just one of the few things that we have going on here on campus.
This tiger checklist is something that your admissions counselor will go over with you. Um, visiting with us, of course, number one, um, I tell all my students to get out and visit as many schools as possible. You're gonna be spending a lot of your time on that college campus. So you wanna be comfortable there and you can't know if you're comfortable unless you get out and visit some schools. Sending us your scores. So I know it's been hard to take the SAT here lately, but I know there has been some days that have passed that some students have taken it. And I heard that there's also one coming up in December as well. So um, when you do take your SAT, you can actually just click to have it sit right to Fort Hayes. So just another step that um, you wouldn't have to worry about. Applying for admission. So um, I tell my students to go ahead and come out and apply for admission, you know, even if you don't go here, it just helps so you can go ahead and fill out all the scholarships that you're eligible for. And then if you choose not to go here, no problem, then um, we just take off those scholarships and things of that nature. So um, applying for admission, I would say is your best bet. Activating your TigerNet ID is something that we would help you do when you did get admitted. That's just how you're going to be able to access your classes when you get enrolled here. It's our online database to look at like grades, your schedule, access your financial aid, how you enroll for classes. So lots of cool different things um, are there with your TigerNet ID. Applying for scholarships. Our freshman automatic scholarship is open at any time. You can accept that at any time. Um, if you happen to um, get a higher score on your SAT, all you do is just go back to the scholarship estimator, put in your higher score and accept that scholarship and we'll just keep removing the lower scholarship and replacing it with the higher scholarship. I also wanted to mention about the automatic freshman scholarship is that I've had many students ask me, what if I happen to fall off one semester and get um, below a 3-3? If you happen to get your GPA back up, we will give you that scholarship back. We are not gonna penalize you for um, losing it. Um, then our general scholarship application, like I said, you do have to be admitted to be able to access that application, um, but it's just one form. Um, keep in mind that those dates for that are November 15th is the priority deadline and then February 15th is the final deadline. Completing the FAFSA, I'm sure that your teachers have talked with you about the with financial aid, the free application that they have online. We are one of the few universities that doesn't require our students to fill it out for admission, but um, we like to push go ahead and filling it out because it lets you know if you're eligible for Pell Grants, if you're eligible for loans, if you're eligible for work study or non-work study, if maybe you were thinking about wanting to have a um, job on campus. So just a great tool to be able to know what your options are. So I definitely I recommend filling it out. And also you do have to have it filled out if you do wanna accept any type of scholarships. Applying for housing. So if the learning community sounded like something you think you would be interested in, um, the housing application opens November 10th at 10 a.m., which would be next Tuesday. Um, so if that is something that you're interested in, definitely go ahead and hop on that housing application as fast as you can so you can get into the learning community of your choosing. Attending an event. So we have different events here on campus that are geared towards our juniors and seniors, and we call them Tiger Days. What's really cool about our Tiger Days is that you come to campus, you get a tour, you get the admissions presentation, you get to actually go to a co-curricular fair where we, bring, where we bring a few different departments in. You also get to do academic visits as well. But, that's the, but at the end of that event, we draw for a $1,000 scholarship. Anyone who comes to the event is eligible to win the scholarship, so it's just a great, really great opportunity. We actually, all of our events had been full for a while. We actually just opened up um, for a few more events for Tiger Day. So that's something you're interested in. Definitely um, get in contact with your counselor. Um, she can get in contact with me and I can send you the information on those Tiger Day events. And then lastly, when you decided that you wanted to be a Tiger and that you wanted to come out here, we would help you and get you enrolled in all of your classes. Um, these are all of our social media handles. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. These are just to help you keep up to date with all the events that we may be doing on campus or um, just keeping up with updates with our campus. Um, and then lastly on this slide is my contact information. Um, your counselor also put it in the chat, but if you ever um, need anything, uh, I'm just a call, text or email away. Don't hesitate um, to um, reach out to me. Um, I'd love talking to my students. It's the best part of my day. Um, I'd rather, I'd much rather talk to my students and actually have to do actual work. So it definitely does help with that. But um, my social media handles are down there at the bottom as well. Um, but that is really all that I have for you guys today. Um, if anyone doesn't have any questions or anything, um, that's completely fine. It's a lot of information that gets thrown at you at such a quick time. So usually questions do come later, um, which I 100% understand.
Well, that was fantastic. Thank you. Every Thank time I look at presentations, I'm like, I want to sign up. And now that I know they have a master's program, so a lot of it's virtual. You're yeah. So virtual. what's nice about the master's programs as well is that my master's program is completely online. So um, I don't have to worry about um, coming to campus. And um, we do have a few campus components, but it's only like one, one to three, I think uh, my advisor was telling me about, but a lot of our undergrad programs as well can be done completely online. So it's really nice that if you don't feel like you're an in-classroom student, you don't have to um, be an in-classroom student. You can do the online portion. And frankly, with everything going on right now, a lot of our classes are either online or hybrid. So you're going to have some type of online component um, regardless. Um, so it's really nice that you can finish, um, especially a master's program. We're very popular and people come here for their master's because um, most of our master's programs can be completed completely online because we know people have lives. Um, we know people um, have children, um, just other full-time jobs that they just can't come to a campus for um, these classes daily. So it's nice to have the, the option to just do it online and get it knocked out. Yeah, that's great. What a great, great opportunity. And, um, you know, just like you said, if anybody has questions, I put your information in the chat, but also they can um, reach back out to me, Ms. De La Cruz here at the Future Center and or you, Cortland Rose at Fort Hayes and all that, your information has been out there. We sent it out. So um, yeah, thank you for the presentation. That was really great. Um, short thank you. Break, but again, if anybody's interested, I will encourage them to reach out to you. It sounds like you guys have great support, tons of dorm options, which is fun. Yeah. And I really like that option where you guys have like community support for the freshmen. Um, mm -hmm. uh, that is really great. It's fantastic. Yeah. We Thank you. That freshmen in any setting, high school or college, can be a little rambunctious. So yes. it's nice to have some sort of uh, like focus and um, maybe a little structure and support right then and there. So very cool. Very, very yeah. cool. Well, thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me. I really do appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, have a great day and thank you for coming. Appreciate yeah, it. thank you so much. See you later. Bye. Bye.